Cool. Alright, well, I'm going to be talking about Pearl Foo, which uh, I've been working on for well, probably about six months now, on and off. And uh, basically, um, I've kind of. There's always been this discord between searching for Pearl information anywhere and finding useful information. Um, basically, you know, trying to Google for Pearl information is, isn't very useful. So, what I, what I decided is um, I think we need a centralized knowledge base of useful Pearl information. The blogs.pearl.org project is a great source. Uh, Meta CPAN, um, module docs from Meta CPAN, given they have a really nice, easy to use JSON API. Pearl Monks, it's slow and kludgy, but there's a whole lot of information there. Uh, get out! Just kidding. Um, Stack Overflow is kind of cool because it's new, and uh, there's actually some pretty modern stuff in there. And, uh, actually, have some Moose contributors and modern Perl people on there answering questions with good answers. Uh, and user submitted data so it's not so static or it's not so passive, I guess. Uh, I'd also like to have a threaded forum on there so we can have, kind of have discussion on what people submit, what's indexed, what's there. Um, Stack Overflow and Perlmonks, obviously you have this, but my idea was kind of to pull in the Perlmonks information and instead of waiting four years for everything to load, be able to comment on in, new, in this new you know, modernized uh, web application. Um, Stack Overflow is really nice, except it's just got a very broad scope. There's just about, I mean, name a programming language and it's probably on there with questions or with answers, so you're not likely to be able to find uh, Perl information as fast as you probably could on, with a focused direct search. I'd like to have favorites, uh, bookmarker documentation, and uh, code snippets, and things you use uh, pretty frequently. Meta CPAN has this kind of idea with favorites. You uh, can basically bookmark modules you like, which is a, it's a huge selling point for Meta CPAN, and it's uh, something I've wanted to do for Perlful as well, so you can uh, efficiently sift through your data that you refer to every day as kind of a reference, quick reference book. Um, things that are uh, extremely useful for me that I run into are uh, recipes for things like Catalyst Application Deployment, constantly referencing the wiki, looking for things how to deploy on Nginx, Apache, Light HTTP, um, Plaque has helped a whole lot. It's pretty easy to do this anymore, but Quite frankly, searching the Catalyst wiki is like trying to hit a fly with a brick across the room, drunk. And this is no slight towards Mojo Mojo. I think it's, you know, it's, it does what it needs to do, but uh, it could be easier to find data on. Uh, the Advent Calendar, which has been retired this year, has a whole lot of new, has a whole lot of really relevant information still, but none of it's indexed, and it's not really easy unless you click through and kind of know what each each uh, article is about. Um, DBX class is also another big uh, player in this. I am constantly trying to find out how to get to different things through different areas in DBX class. Uh, for instance, I like to I like to see what my connection information is in my uh, tests and whatnot, and figuring out how to get there from, say, the result set object I'm using right now is kind of, it's not always easy to remember, so I like to look that kind of stuff up. Um, there's a lot of good information, it's just not mapped very well. You can go through the cookbook, you can go through the manual, but you end up doing a whole lot of back and forth searching, and I think it could be optimized a whole lot. So, there's also Moose, obviously, again, it's just another big framework with a whole lot of good things uh, and the manual is great again but again it's like three four clicks to get down to where you want and I'm lazy so I just overall basically I just want to create a general index of pearl knowledge something that's quick fast and reliable and I'll uh, biggest selling point I want to uh, emphasize with this is allowing users to 
create their own subset and um, have that as their personal kind of delicious, if you will, for uh, pearl knowledge. Um, basically, we need this because you know, literally on every single IRC channel I've been on, anybody that comes in and says, I Googled for the, I Googled and found this script and I've been working on it, we basically tell them, do not Google for Perl information, ever. We, uh, I and mean, this is a little gem, I just, this is like the first hit, I just Googled something today, just, just to see what came up, and, uh, they're spelling Perl, all caps, uh, somewhere in there it says the latest version of Perl is 5.10, um, what's that? That's a good one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so, whoops, okay, uh, give me one second. Anyway, uh, so it's just a joke. Googling for Pearl stuff is a joke. And, um, that's, that's unfortunate because you can Google for Ruby, things for Ruby, Rails, um, Python, and probably find some pretty legitimate results. Um, all the Pearl results are out of date. I mean, the highest ranked ones are out of date. They propagate bad practices. You know, people see them as the first first link. They click on it. It's like, oh, okay, this works, I guess. And, you know, Google ranks that, however, so it just sort of starts a endless cycle of terrible fuckery. Um, and it almost never refers to modern Pearl. Like, you literally, unless you Google for Moose itself, you're probably not going to find a tutorial out there about Moose, about using Moose in your Perl. It just, it's all 1995 CGI Matt Script Archive stuff. So, it's obviously hard to find things like you know, specifics. I can't go on Meta CPAN and, you know, type this in and find something useful. Again, the Moose documentation is really nice, but I want to be able to find specifics. I want to be able to find things like I can't remember how, what method delegation takes as far as parameters. And, you know, like I was saying with the connection um, object stuff, I, if I can't, if I don't have it written down somewhere or if I don't have it in, you know, bookmarked, then it's kind of a pain in the ass to find. Um, you can go on IRC and go on all the channels and ask, but then you're A, waiting for people, and B, you know, guys like MST, Ryusushi, Kalen, and Fru, and everybody have better things to do than hold your hand, and Jay Shirley and GFAT are exempt here, so. Um, but basically it allows you to kind of have an independent working library of things that you use commonly without having to wait on other people and be babysat. Um, kind of reiterating over wanting a quick reference, I want it to be easy, I want it to be fast. I don't want to wait on other people, I don't want other people to wait on me. I want to be able to access it from the command line, I want to be able to access it from the web app, I want, you know, whatever, my phone, anything. It would allow people, experts in these IRC channels, instead of repeating themselves or having bot factoids that they have to maintain, uh, and all sorts of different uh, websites in these bot factoids to just say, hey, go here, wrote this up, check it out, or you know, have very concise explanations in one spot that they can just refer people to. You know, we're all programmers, don't repeat yourself is a really good thing. So, kind of got cut off, but Profu is not available for use right now. It's I had stuff up, move servers, so it hasn't gotten put back up, but it's a uh, Codes up on GitHub. There's a IRC channel, not many people in there right now, but hopefully after this, um, beta will be back up soon. Just keep in mind that I am trying to level up in Skyrim, and uh, I also installed Jedi Knight 2 and Knights of the Old Republic, and I have a job, so it's kind of as I can get it done, um, it'll come along. So, sounds cool, I know. So, people <laughs> need to get involved help me and uh, basically just the usual uh, fork read hack push for github uh, and it's pretty straightforward right now 
it's, uh, it's all Perl, obviously. Um, using the usual, my usual stack of Moose, Catalyst, DBX class. Uh, template X Slate is just kind of a fast template toolkit replacement. Um, I'm using some XML stuff. Uh, I started I started pulling in Perlmux data and parsing that uh, through XML just to try and get a big data set in. And I found that this is somewhat of a tangent, but I found that this was kind of the fastest way to do it. Um, Postgres uh, is my choice for databases. Uh, planning on using T-Search and recursive queries and a fucking fuckload of data. Uh, T-Search is nice because it's embedded into, it's a stored procedure in Postgres, so that allows us just to use, a, you know, we can use Elasticsearch, we can use uh, Solar, but until we need to expand out to that kind of enterprise software, I think Postgres T-Search would do just the right thing. So, that's all I have for now. Does anybody have any questions? Did I cover everything that well? Great. Yeah. Thank you. So you're going to do every dark area can have an indexing and if it's good. So you find the best one from all the different ones. I was because sometimes there is a cross pollination of different answers. I was sort of planning on the ones I the the resources I listed off were pretty. Uh, from what I've seen, um, I don't have statistics, so don't quote me. But that's kind of those are kind of the sources that are actually reliable that people are actively contributing. You know, there's no bullshit really. Iron Man is a pretty great resource for, uh, and I guess I, I kind of use blogs that Pearl and Iron Man interchangeably. Yeah. Mistakenly. Uh, basically have kind of a you know core set and then people can eventually, you know, they can create uh, sources themselves. Yeah, because I'm trying to push to get more like, good docs yeah. anyway. So I, I want the Pearl 5 and Pearl 6 rookies to work on. Yeah. And I'm saying to people, look, you have grant money. And that's Doc, docs can be given grants. Yeah, and that, that's the big thing is I mean we have a lot of documentation out there. So you might be able to work off thinking about that if it's a similar project you should go for maybe grant money. I think that yeah. I have because a, the next round of grants is not going to be grants, you get people to think about it going into it. Yeah. Uh, well they hold you to it, you might have trouble leveling this pattern. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, this will cross but you might find somebody it. who wants to themselves some money and do it on work in your code and then you get plenty of it. That would be that'd be kinda neat too. Because then you can level yourself in Skyrim yeah. and say it's not my fucking problem, he's not doing it right. Yeah. You can find somebody to level your character in Skyrim as well and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> give them the grand money to level and I can code, yeah. There's lots of people in China who can do that for a really cheap price. So <laughs> the Pope Foundation can pay them to level your character in Skyrim. Well. <laughs> that actually might be a good idea. That's actually more economic. It's, 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 all, it's all win. I mean, we can't lose here. So. Yeah. Cool, well, um, that's all I really have. I mean, it sounds like a great idea, actually. I think it, uh, a central index and somewhere where you can actually post up the best docs will force people to improve the docs as well. And, and the flip side of that is, like I said, there's a ton of documentation out there. Meta CPAN provides a great API, API to get a hold of that. And I think it just needs to be kind of indexed in a way that it's actually. Because Meta CPAN really seems to wait more on module name. Like, it's cool because I can search. The other day I was looking for WebSocket stuff and I can type in WebSocket and it'll come up with something where a CPAN will come up with some weird shit with like, I don't know, it doesn't work really as far as, unless you are searching for an exact name. Yeah. So, um, I'd like to weight it more towards like what's in the documentation. Like, I'm looking well, I for... I think the user interaction with the voters will get you the best possible right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah. Right, cool. Yeah. Thank you for listening.